Hey, Dave Ferrari here. Welcome to this series of videos about using the Scenic Express Scenery products. Today I'm going to show you some of the products that Scenic Express offers and how best to use them. So let's get started. The scenery cement I recommend for most scenery projects is matte medium. Scenic Express sells matte medium that's been diluted with four parts water and it's ready to use right out of the bottle. It comes in gallon size and it also comes in these pint bottles. And the real advantage of the pint bottle is that you can get a Scenic Express spray nozzle. It fits right into the bottle and you can shake it up a little bit to disperse the material in here and use it directly from the bottle. The beauty of this pump is that it's a high volume pump. It has an adjustable nozzle and it has a little filter on the bottom to keep some of the pieces from coming up into the pump and then getting stuck in the nozzle. So this is a great way if you want to get started right away you just put the nozzle in the bottle and you're ready to go. Scenic Express also sells matte medium undiluted. This is a really good value. You can bring this home, dilute it with four parts water, it comes in gallons and pints. And one of the nice things you can do with this pint is if you have an empty gallon jug, you take this container, dump it all in the gallon jug, rinse this out with water so you get it all, and then fill this jug up right to the top with water. Now you have the perfect four to one dilution. One of the things I should mention before we leave the topic of diluted matte medium is how to properly fill a spray bottle. Sometimes when you're using this matte medium that's already been diluted, you'll have some undissolved contaminants in the bottle and some of them may crystallize around the rim here and get into the matte medium solution. Of course if you put the pump spray on this bottle you're going to be sucking up the contaminants or if you pour this material into a regular spray bottle you're going to be introducing contaminants into the spray bottle. One of the things you should do before you put the dilute matte medium in a spray bottle is you should filter it. And for the filter I use a funnel and I use a regular number four coffee filter. You can use a white linen handkerchief if you want to but remember you have to wash the handkerchief really good after you're through or it'll be full of gunk. So you take your dilute matte medium, you pour it through the coffee filter, let it settle, let it drip through, and you'll be surprised how much material gets stuck in the filter. So just be aware that it should be filtered before you use it. Another thing I should talk about is when you start using it is you should look at your pump, especially if you've used it before. You'll want to clean the nozzle on the pump. And you can do that by running a pin through it, running some hot water at the end of each session. I'll talk about that in a minute. So what you want to do, you want to adjust your nozzle. You want to spray the scenic cement on your scenery. And if the bottle starts to collapse, what you want to do is puncture the bottle with a pin. Here's a map pin. And I'm just going to push it in the top of the bottle to make a little teeny hole. What this is going to do is relieve the pressure inside the bottle so that the bottle doesn't collapse when you're using it. You'll also want to do the same thing with the already prepared matte medium. If you have a spray pump in this bottle, you may need to put a little hole with a map pin in the top so this bottle doesn't collapse. One last tip, after you get through building your scenery, after you get through spraying with the pump, you'll want to clean the spray pump. This is very important. So you want to be able to use it again tomorrow or the next day or the next week. You need to run hot water through this. You need to either put it in a bowl of hot water and pump it until it comes out clear or you want to run hot water through the end, pump it upside down in the sink. But the thing is you want to make sure that the spray that comes out is clear. Now you can either put a cap back on this bottle or you can put the pump back in now that it's nice and clean you can put it back in for storage and it'll be okay. Next time you use it, all you're going to have to do is adjust the nozzle, spray, and you'll be ready to go. The scenery products presented in this video are all available from Scenic Express at www.scenicexpress.com.